Hello everyone. This is the new HSC material requisition form and here you can see that we have prepared a new format for you. So in this form first of all the date has to be mentioned whichever date indent you are raising. Okay. Next is the project code. This will be a four digit project code. Next is your project name. Please mention your project name very clearly and in this you can enter if any package is there or any extension you can clearly mention here extension package 2 or anything you can mention uh, the full name of your project project location will be there in that you can mention the short location in the short location the first thing can be the district it can be your taluk village and uh, anything else and then finally mention the state this is a short uh, location next is you can mention the name of the project in charge and contact number contact number is of 10 digits please do not mention any other thing than mr or please don't mention like shri shriman those things are not required just a formal mr you can put over here in prefix name of the hse officer and contact number name of store personnel and contact number is required then if the material is in mel scope or subcontractor scope you can mention here if it is in MEL scope you can mention it as MEL if it is in subcontractor scope please mention the name of the subcontractor next uh, if uh, subcontractor scope then you have to mention the work order for every time you are having a indent for a subcontractor a different work order number is there you have to enter the whole format once again for another contractor if there is another contractor called mesh engineering or any other name so here again this document has to be changed take a fresh copy of this excel and then work mention their work order number and their name of on the work order here correct delivery address is required here full address will be uh, typed Okay, so for example, wherever your project is, please mention the project name, which location it is in, which district or city area, wherever your project is, that along with the PIN code. This is important. Please mention the PIN code clearly. Next is type of items and sum of all items. These two things are counted from the second sheet. We will go, uh, go on to the next few minutes. Okay signature of HSE officer with date so here your person will sign once you are done with the whole format then we'll come back to this sheet once again okay second sheet is the items indenting page this is the page where you have to do the entry everywhere else you have to refer and read this is the sheet where you have to edit it so here first item is mentioned as this is the item code okay apron is there and it is in uh, leather type specification is mentioned length in th uh, 36 inches quantity is mentioned unit of measurement is there justification is there all these things out of these things some are based on formula so for example if you mention item code here if you are mentioning any other item code item name will change so you do not need to edit item name it will come automatically next specifications this is the part which we have to enter how we how we can enter you can go on the right side of the sheet this green across the green line these things are also based on formula so don't edit it so here specs help will help you in mentioning the length in inches and if any item is there for example there is another item called coverall frame resistant coverall so here if you uh, what if you forgot that what details you should enter you can go to the right and see that the system will prompt you mention the color and size so you can come back here again mention the specification here okay in specification you can mention orange size to excel total number of uh, quantity you can mention any number of uh, items which you are uh, raising the indent for you can mention here new employees you can mention the justification once we are done with the justification you can uh, enter another item so for example here cover all is mentioned this is of orange color and size excel you have entered 
Next, if you want another size or another color, you have to enter in the next row. Do not enter the specification in the same cell or in the same row. You can enter in the next row. So cover all flame resistant. Here khaki color is there and size is mentioned in Excel. Here also you can mention 5, 6 numbers or 7 numbers you can enter as per your requirement. Clear justification is required. Okay, If new employees are joining for that you are requesting 6 numbers like that you can mention. Any detail you need. Next details you can see. Uh, first thing was cover all you can see here. Another example I will give you for uh, fire extinguisher. Here also different types are there, different capacities are there and quantity is there. You can mention your own quantity, what you need. You can mention here. Okay. So only specifications uh, column you have to edit, the item code column you have to edit and the quantity. After completing this, give a justification. Here in justification also you can enter why you are requesting these items. For which location or for what purpose. Here CO2 is there. Here again CO2 type, same type but different capacity is there, 4 kg. So you have to mention it in another row. You should not mention everything in one. Here you can see cartridge type. Here 4 kgs, here 4.5 kgs. Both are different so it is in different row. Even if it is ABC cartridge type 4 kgs, it, uh, next is also ABC cartridge type 4.5 kgs. Then also we have to any change in any uh, specification, variant, attribute, it will be recorded in the next row. Next very common which is our safety helmet. This is the item code. If you enter this item code, you will see safety helmet of general use. So here you can mention what type you want. Ratchet type, nape type, color will be there, white. Different colors you can choose. In the second row you can see yellow is there. Next is blue, next is red. Whatever quantity, same justification like that. Same thing we choose. These examples are very common and we properly make mistakes in this only. So please focus. And this staff shoes you can see size 8 and with steel toe, size 9 with steel toe. You can mention with or without steel toe as you like. For new team members, for new gang members like that you can clearly mention. Sizes you can mention. All the helps you need will be mentioned over here. This is just to tell you that what is the size and the specs help. All these details you have to enter. Okay, this all the data which you are seeing here in specifications. You can find everything, whatever we have supplied in the last 3-4 years in this sheet. This is the items master data. So everything we have supplied in these 3 to 4 years is recorded here. And item code is mentioned here. The item's name is mentioned here. Unit of measurement is given. Specs help which you are seeing on the second sheet is mentioned here. These are the different attributes and variants which we have. Okay, so in uh, attributes you can see every different type. For example, first thing is apron. In apron you have lab, kitchen, this uh, 24 inches length, 36 inches length, then plastic mat. This is having one single size, 9 feet by 10 feet. There are no variants in it. Okay, so like that this is the whole list. Cover all. There are different colors which we have supplied so far. Orange, navy blue, khaki, gray, light blue different sizes. So those two things you have to mention here in the specifications in this in this call in this column. Last part is in the master data you can see on the right side that source and lead time is also mentioned. So wherever MEIL is mentioned we are preparing it in head office level or we are sending people to uh, procure it from outside some parts and we are fabricating it in MEL only. This is provided by MEL head office. So we are mentioning MEL. What is this item? This item is blasting mat. So when blasting mats are required, we supply from Hyderabad. We have our own we have our own stock. Sometimes we have to if stock is not available, sometimes we have to make it out of waste rubber tires. With that we make it and then we supply to sites. So here MEL is mentioned. The process is a little long that is why lead time is mentioned as long. So minimum lead time for this is at least a month. So 
if you are planning to buy blasting mats please mention please uh, indent one month of, uh, before so we can supply it to you in time next you can see barrication boards barrication boards you have to mention length in mm and height in mm okay so with that we can prepare and here also this is fabricated in our mel fabrication unit only and it takes at least a month to uh, finalize it for supply every other item where this source is kept blank and lead time is blank source is from the vendors which we are regularly buying ppes and all lead time is the stipulated uh, lead time of 15 days which we are providing in this new process from the day of your indent which day we are receiving from that day this uh, material should be supplied within 15 days that is our target this is the item master data if you don't willing to look into uh, another source of this master data same data you can find in our procurement catalog version 2 which we will be releasing shortly and we will send it to your project locations very soon so in that data also we have different uh, whole catalog is there along with this master data so you can refer to that book also if you still forget whatever i am telling you you can definitely refer to these instructions so for the first page which is the cover page project location is little different from uh, de delivery address so you have to enter the indian city village mandal taluk whatever is there in your address in short address and mention the state in which your project is located second is signature of project in charge and hsc officer should contain the date always over here in the cover page whenever you are signing so after filling the cover page and items indenting page after completing this here you have to select this whole thing till the over till the top then convert it into pdf format and print it after printing you can do your signature here with the date and the project in charge signature will come here with the date so this is the second sheet so once you are done filling it take a print out of this take pm's signature and next in instructions is the instructions for indenting page now in indenting page the specification which you are mentioning should be as per the help which is given in the columns of specs attributes and variants okay specs help attributes and variants so once you go to the second page this is the specification which i am talking about if you want if you forget anything what you want to enter here you can refer to the specs help on the right and in more detail you have master data over here on the third page so you can see specs help is here attributes are given here variants are given here next is in instructions you can also refer items master data from the mel hsc procurement catalog version 2 item codes specifications quantity and justification these are the ones which you have to enter manually okay these are not formula based item name um and other columns beyond the green line so those items are based on formula so you do not have to touch them do not tamper them add another row of the same item for different specification variants or attributes in the same item which i explained you if same type of shoes are there if you have different specification or you have different variant or different attribute anything changes you have to add another row and that you have to enter the same item code and the different specification variants or attributes do not mention the same thing in in the same cell this is how we have to send the material indent to our head office so after filling the cover page and items indenting page i already told you to convert both the pages from ms excel to pdf take a print out make sure that the material indenting form so what is material indenting form here at the bottom you can see material indenting form consists of both the cover page as well as the items indenting page both okay it should be duly signed by project in charge and scc officer with date which documents to be sent first thing is signed material indenting form this should be in the pdf format okay next is material indenting form in excel format this whole excel which we have filled no cover page item indenting page this whole excel sheet is required this is the name of the excel sheet hsc material indenting format version 1 18th october this is the file we will send you and in this the work order has to be attached if material is in subcontractor's room 
if it is in mel scope we don't need the work order if it is in subcontractor scope we have to get the work order copy from your end these details all these three documents we need it on hse proc at bhatra.tv hse p r o c at bhatra.tv so this is our own email id for hse procurement your uh, in cc you can put your respective hohse coordinator email id okay whoever is your coordinator for hohse uh, you can mention their email id over here next thing is subject line of the email in subject line of email whenever you are putting into as hse proc and cc to your coordinator subject line you have to put it as hse material indent dash the project code of your project dash the project name of your project along with the package details or any other classification is there you can mention dash project location okay so this is agartala for example this is anandpur rudraprayag like that you can mention it over here so this is the whole format so once you are done please convert the cover page take a signature of the project in charge with date your signature with date then items indenting page so after all this is sent then we shall process the same indent within 15 days and for tracking also we will give we will prepare a indent on ebills and share you the tracking details immediately so this is the new format thank you for listening please follow the instructions thank you